I'm Minnie's Emily and welcome to Sea Creek Parents. In today's video, I'm super excited to share how to crochet this adorable little clumpfish. Uh, this clumpfish is pretty beginner friendly. Um, the only challenging part is just doing slip stitches and slip stitch increases for the little black sections. Um, but that is pretty simple and I'll walk you through how to do that in the tutorial. Now two things I want to mention before we go ahead and jump in is number one that if you want to adjust the playback speed, um, so make either me talk faster or slower, you can do that by clicking the little playback um, settings gear icon in the uh, bottom right corner of the video, then clicking playback speed and then you can either make me talk faster whether you or slower, depending on your, whether you're more advanced or beginner crocheter. And then the other thing I want to mention is that in the next few weeks, there will be a free blog post for this clownfish available. So make sure you check the link in the description box down below. And there also will be the ad-free PDF for this adorable little clownfish. So if you're interested in that, um, there is a link again in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. obviously some scissors to cut your yarn and you'll need a darning needle um, you'll need a stitch marker just to mark I uh, just to mark my um, first stitch I uh, just think it helps to be able to um, know for sure where your first stitch is so I recommend a stitch marker then you'll need some safety eyes now I'm using 10 millimeter safety eyes and I just get these off Amazon. I'll link everything I mentioned in the description box down below. But these are just 10 millimeter safety eyes off of Amazon. And then I like to hot glue the backs of the eyes. Um, then you'll need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you'll also need a 7 millimeter crochet hook. And this uh, hook just got a little bit discolored from some black yarn that I was using once. So that's how it got weird looking and then you'll need some stuffing and then the yarns that you'll need is um, Bernat blanket yarn in the color um, I'm going to be using this a little bit more uh, reddish color but you can also make it with this more um, realistic orange color and this is Bernat blanket um, brights in the color carrot orange I believe I'll put a link in the description box down below to both these yarns um, but today's video I'm going to be using Bernat blanket yarn in the color orange leaf then you'll need um, some this is premier basics chenille but premier basics chenille and Bernat blanket yarn is almost a, exactly identical so this is just um, some black uh, Bernat blanket yarn or premier basics chenille whatever so just a black number six super walky weight yarn and then you also need some of the white so this is uh, Bernat blanket yarn in the color white and then you also need a four um, this is a number four worsted weight yarn and you'll need a little bit of this for your just a little bit of edging so you won't need very much at all but this is just number four worsted weight yarn it is uh, red heart super saver in the color black obviously so that is what I will be using and so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to begin, you're going to grab your center pull from your uh, red red or orange or whatever is your main color that you want to be beginning with. So we're going to start here and we're going to work all the way back. Um, so you're going to use your main color and then you're also going to use your seven millimeter hook. And we are going to begin by making a magic circle. So just to make a magic circle, you're going to put the yarn at the base of your finger wrap around towards the front and then wrap around going to the back so making like an X shape then flip over go under and over and grab that tail pinch it and hold and there you go so now we are going to go ahead and chain one and now you're going to single crochet six into the magic ring so I'm just going to do a single crochet uh, six into this magic ring so I'm going to insert and over pull through and yarn over and pull through all two loops on your hook. So yarn over, insert, so insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So two, three, four, five, and six. 
Now I'm going to pull on this tail and close my magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what you're going to do is you can add your stitch marker at this point to the first stitch. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and slip stitch to the first stitch to join. And now you're going to uh, chain one and you're going to slip stitch increase into the first stitch. So what that means is we are going to do two slip stitches into the very first stitch. Now doing two slip stitches into one stitch is a little bit of a challenge. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through. So let me show you that again. So we chain one. Now into that very first stitch where we just made our slip stitch for like to slip stitch to join, we're going to insert our hook, you're going to pull through and then pull through and you'll want to do a very loose slip stitch so that it um, is easy to work into on the next round. So one slip stitch and then you're going to do that one more time into the same stitch. Now when you pull through, you're going to just kind of want to pinch at the base and pull through. So now you have two slip stitches into that very first stitch. Now what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. And then you're going to repeat what you just did. So you're going to do slip stitch increase into the next stitch. So slip stitch and slip stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. And to do a half double crochet, you're going to yarn over insert you're going to pull through, you're going to pull through all three loops on your hook. Now, you're going to go ahead and slip stitch to join, and you should have eight stitches. So, slip stitch to join. And now I'm going to push that out because we want the right side facing out, so like that. And we are going to continue on to round number three. So, for round number three, you're going to chain one. You're going to slip stitch increase into the very first stitch again like we did before. Um, and the reason that we're slip stitching and slip stitching to join and chaining one at the end of each round instead of just like continuing on is because of all the color changes. It makes it a lot easier if you slip stitch to join and then work into, um, it just makes it easier and look more clean in my opinion. So slip stitch increase into the first stitch, then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, you're going to double crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to want to make sure that you work into both of those slip stitches. They can kind of hide, so make sure you work into both of those slip stitches from the last round. So then half double crochet, then double crochet, and then you're going to half double crochet. So slip stitch increase, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet and then you're going to repeat that again. So make sure that you go into both of those slip stitches. So I'm going to slip stitch increase into the first slip stitch of the previous round and then I'm going to now half double crochet into the next stitch, um, double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet into the last stitch. And now we are going to go ahead and slip stitch to join. And you should have eight stitches for round number three. And my yarn is not going to unravel. Let me see. There we go. So now for round number four, what you're going to do is you are going to slip stitch into the very first stitch. So I'm going to go into the second stitch just to kind of keep it a nice even line. So slip stitch into the first stitch. What I like to do is I like to kind of go back and forth. So you know how we slip stitch to join to begin or to end the round. I like to then make the chain like work into the second stitch instead of working right into where we just did a slip stitch. And then the next row I work into where we just had done our slip stitch. So if that doesn't make sense, just do it however you like to do it. So slip stitch into the first stitch. Then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to make a bobble stitch in, nope, sorry, slip stitch, half double crochet, then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. So we did slip stitch, half double crochet, double crochet. Now what you're going to do is into the next stitch you're going to make a bobble. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, 
and then you're going to, to do the same thing into that same stitch again. So yarn over insert into that same stitch, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two. Now you should have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And now what you're going to do is you're going to um, single crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to, um, and you're going to want to make sure you push the bobble out so it faces like this so you can actually see it. Otherwise, naturally bobbles will want to go to the back side and we don't want that, obviously. So you're going to want to push it out like that. Um, so we did a single crochet. Now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. All right, so we did the bobble. We did this single crochet. Now we're going to do this. We did this slip stitch. And now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to want to make sure you work into both of those slip stitch, um, so like both of those slip stitches that you did. Remember you did a slip stitch increase on the last round. So you want to make sure you work into both of those stitches. Sometimes it's kind of tough to feel them, but you want to make sure you do that. So we did a single crochet. Now we're going to do um, a bobble in the next stitch. So just repeat what we did on the other side. So two of those like half finish double crochets and three loops on your hook. You're going to pull through all three loops on your hook. Then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to want to push that bobble out again as much as possible. So double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And you are going to go ahead and slip stitch to join. Okay, so I just slip stitched to join. Now you should be done with round number four and you should again have 10 stitches. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is you might want to take out that slip stitch because I like to when I'm changing colors. So you're going to change your color to the black yarn now. I like to, so what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook. Then you're going to grab your black yarn and pull through and pull through. So we just made a slip stitch to join for round number four and we now have black on our hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch increase into the very first stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch increase into that first stitch. Move your stitch marker of course. So one. Then I'm going to do one more. Slip stitch into that same stitch. Making sure to pull it through. There we go. One, two. Now you're going to um, slip stitch in the next four stitches and you're going to repeat that. So slip stitch into the next four stitches and then you're going to repeat what we just did. So we're going to do another slip stitch increase and I'm going to do, I'm doing that slip stitch increase and now we're going to slip stitch into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to want to do pretty loose slip stitches. Otherwise, it'll be super tough to work into them on the next round. And my ball is coming close to me. So there we go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to join. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the back loop only of that first of that slip stitch. So right there, you're just going to go into the back loop only of that slip stitch. Now you're going to grab your white yarn and yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So now we finished the black strip, or stripe, <laughs> whatever. Um, and we are going to move on to uh, round number six. So we're going to go ahead and chain one. And at this point, I like to add my safety eyes because you can see that it's going to be easy to access. Um, and as you keep going, it will get harder and harder to um, access those bobbles. So what I like to do is I like to just put a sh my little safety eye in at the center of that bobble. And you're going to do that on both sides and grab your safety eye backers. And I'm going to go downstairs and hot glue the backs of these safety eyes just for security purposes. But just put it at the center of that bobble. Push it in. And there we go. And then I'm going to do it on this, the other side right here. Put it in the center. There we go and grab my backer. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and hot glue the backs of the safety eyes. 
and then I'll meet you back and we'll continue on with round number six. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is for round number six, we're using the white yarn, we're going to um, single crochet increase into the very first stitch. Now I'm gonna actually go into the next stitch because I'm noticing that I did keep my eyes, so you can see there's eyes right there, about, so this at the center between in the back. So I'm just going to go, instead of right into that very first stitch, I'm going to go into the stitch right next to it. And you're going to go into the back loop only. So we just went here. Now I'm going to find the next stitch. And this is the next, that was part of our slip stitch increase. So it's a little hard for me to get into because I've stretched out the other stitch. But there we go. So I'm going to do a single crochet increase into that very into that stitch. Then I'm going to do a single crochet into the next uh, five stitches. So you're going to work into the back loop only. I'm going to now you can see I'm able to work into it easier once I get past that little bit. So just the back loop only. And it's kind of impossible to show on camera, but you can kind of see that there's one and then there's two. You're going to go into that back loop. So one, two, three, and four. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do one more single crochet. So single crochet increase, then single crochet five. And then you're going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. So you're going to just go ahead and grab that back loop of that next stitch, increase into there, and then you're going to single crochet into the last five stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you back, and we'll continue on to round number seven. All right, so I just did my um, five single crochets, and you can see this is what it is looking like. So if I go like that, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch to join, and then you're going to chain one. Now I'm not going to work into that, um, I'm not going to work into that stitch um, to begin with and we'll come back and work into that stitch. So I'm not going to work into the stitch where my sli uh, my stitch marker is because we just did a slip stitch there and you can see that we're getting a little crooked in our line and I want our line to be right up the back. So I want it to be kind of centered in the back between the eyes. So I'm going to single crochet um, into the stitch next to it. So you should have, I think I forgot to mention, but you should have 14 stitches for the end of round six and now you're just getting single crochet in each stitch around for round number seven so you should have another 14 stitches so i'm going to single crochet in each stitch around and then i will meet you back and we will continue on to round number eight all right so i just finished my 14 single crochets now what you're going to do is you're going to begin your slip stitch but instead of finishing you're going to pull either um, join or just pull up from where you last did your black and you're going to go ahead and push the white to the back and grab the black now. Now you're going to want to make sure your black is tight down here otherwise it's going to start looking, looking kind of loose so make sure that's nice and decently tight and now you're going to slip stitch now you're going to chain one and for round number eight, you're just getting slip stitch in each stitch around. So that should be pretty easy. You're just going to make a slip stitch. Now I didn't, I again went into the second stitch and then when we come back around, we'll go into that slip stitch to join. Um, so just to keep this line straight and not from going weird. So I'm going to just slip stitch in each stitch around and I will meet you back. All right, so I just did my 14 um, slip stitches, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to change colors to the orange again. So what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook into the back loop only. So for when we're working into the slip stitches of the previous round, we're gonna work into the back loop only pretty much always, um, especially if, like, when it was black, then we're gonna work into the back loop only in the next um, round. So what I'm going to do at this point is grab my orange yarn from the a couple of rows ago, or rounds ago, more like it, and I'm going to just bring that up 
and finish that slip stitch. Now at this point, because it'll be a couple rows, um, as you can see here, because it'll be a couple rows between, um, between the next black and white stripes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my black and white yarn um, because it's just getting a little twisted and a little annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those tails. And now we are going to go ahead and begin round number um, nine. So for round number nine, so for round number nine, you're gonna go ahead and chain two. And I'm gonna move my scissors off to this side. So chain two, and now you're going to double crochet increase into, you're gonna kind of gauge how far either you'll go into this stitch or the next stitch next to it. I'm gonna go into this stitch right here. So where we just made our slip stitch to join and you're gonna make a double crochet increase. So you'll do two double crochets into this one stitch. So you'll make a yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we're working into the back loop only for this round because the last round was black and it just makes it a whole lot more clean looking and it also makes the um, makes it easier to work into. So for like this round, so it's easier, not as hard to get into the stitches. So make a double crochet increase. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to double crochet into the next stitch and remember to work into the back loop only in each stitch around. So double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're gonna half double crochet into the back loop only. Then you're going to um, single crochet into the back loop only. Then you're gonna half double crochet into the back loop only. Then you're gonna double crochet into the next two stitches of course, in the back loop only. Um, we can go to the next stitch, there we go. Then you're going to repeat that again. So you're going to double crochet, increase into the next stitch. Then you're gonna double crochet into the next stitch, always going into the back loop only. Double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch and it's a little tough sometimes to grab that. There we go, half double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the last two stitches. So one and two. And you should end up, and you should end up with, and you should end up with 16 stitches. So double crochet in the last two stitches. Now we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to join. And you can see this is how it is looking. Now we're going to chain two, and you're going to double crochet um, into the first two stitches. So I'm going to personally go into, instead of going right into the first stitch, I'm gonna go into the second stitch. And then when we come back around, we'll work into that slip stitch because I want to keep it even. So I'm going to move my stitch marker and double crochet into the next stitch too. So double crochet into the first two stitches and you're gonna be working under both loops for this round. So it's only for the round after the black that we're working to the back loop only. So only for the slip stitches. So double crochet in the first two stitches, half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to go ahead and single crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next two stitches. So then you're going to repeat that again. So you're going to double crochet into the next two stitches again. So a total of four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, half double crochet into the next stitch, and double crochet into the last two stitches. And there we go. Oops, I have a little black fuzz from that yarn. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to be changing colors. So I'm going to begin my slip stitch, then I'm gonna grab my black yarn. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just pull through and pull through. Now you're gonna chain one. And for the black, you'll slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'm going to go into this same stitch 
but I would just kind of alternate rounds. I'm not doing the best at alternating rounds. I'm just kind of going more random. So I'm going to slip stitch into each stitch around and I will meet you back and you should have 16 slip stitches around. So I'll meet you back and we will continue on. All right, so I just slip stitched in each stitch around and now for round, um, and now you're going to um, slip stitch to join but in you're going to go into the back loop only and then you're also going to grab your white yarn because um, and just pull through. So now we are on to round number 12. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and chain, grab your white yarn, chain one and you are going to single crochet into the first two stitches. So I'm going to um, go ahead and do that. So one, move my stitch marker, making sure to go into the back loop only, remember to do that, and also remember to make your slip stitches from the previous round pretty loose so you'll be able to work into them. So single crochet into the first two stitches, then what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So we're kind of filling up that kind of that like scoop that we did. So we're kind of making it even now. So two double crochets, then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, then you're going to um, single crochet into the next two stitches, and then you're going to repeat that again. So single crochet into the next two stitches. Whoop. Go ahead and grab that loop. There we go. Single crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to half double crochet, double crochet two into the next, so sorry, double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to half double crochet. And then you're going to single crochet into the last two stitches. There you go. Now you're going to go ahead and we're going to switch colors again to the black. So you're going to insert your hook and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to cut my white yarn because we won't be needing it for a while again. And I'm going to grab my black yarn now. And you're going to want to make sure you kind of pull it a little bit tight so that it doesn't look weird. And you're going to grab your black yarn and pull through. Now you're going to um, for round number uh, 13, you are going to chain one and slip stitch in each stitch around. So that's super simple. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you back. One thing I forgot to mention is that you should have 16 stitches again for both um, this round, which is round number 13, and round number 12, which we just finished. So go ahead and slip stitch in each stitch around and I'll meet you back. All right, so I just finished all the slip stitches and now we're going to do the slip stitch to join. So you're going to insert your hook, then we're going to go ahead and cut this black yarn because we won't need that for a while again. And we are going to, I'm going to untangle my black yarn real quick. There we go. Move my scissors aside. And we are going to start working with the orange color again. So I like to just pull on it a little bit, making sure it looks pretty nice there. Now I'm going to bring it up, pull through, or yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. Now you're going to chain one, and for round number 14, you will um, single crochet a decrease over in the back loop only, remember, over the first two stitches. So to make a single crochet decrease, you're going to insert into the first stitch, yarn over pull through, and then you're going to insert into the next stitch, and yarn over and pull through. Remember to work in the remember to work in the back loop only. You'll have three loops on your hook now, and yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook. And I'm going to move up my um, s stitch marker. Now you're going to single crochet into the next six stitches, remembering to work in the back loop only, and. I will uh, just do those couple of six single crochets. So we did that decrease, one, two, three, four, five. One more single crochet. Then now we're gonna do a single crochet decrease again. So single crochet decrease. And then we're going to do single crochet into the last six stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I will meet you back. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and 
slip stitch to join and chain one and for round number 15 so you should have 14 stitches for round number 14 so now for round number 15 you're going to decrease so single crochet decrease over the first two stitches so insert oh, yarn over pull through insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on your hook one two and three yarn pull through all three loops on your hook move your stitch marker now you're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And remember that you can work into both loops um, now again. Now you're going to go ahead and single crochet decrease again. And then you're going to single crochet into the last five stitches, which I'll just do on camera because I don't really want to stop the camera again. So there we go. And now you should have, at this point, you should have 12 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, um, I, I at this point like to weave in the tails before I like finish closing this body off. So I would like to weave in the tails and then add some stuffing. Um, and then we'll come back and continue on to round number 16. So go ahead and weave in your tails that you have inside and then add some stuffing. And I like to remember to the goals with this fish is to have it be kind of flat, so like narrow and just more wide. So don't stuff your fish really wide unless you like it like that. So go ahead and tie in your ends and stuff your body and I'll meet you back. All right, so you can see that it is looking super, super cute and I kind of did it more um, like narrow and wider, obviously. So that is how it is looking. Now for round number 16, we are actually going to continue um, using this orange yarn. So we're going to go ahead and um, so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to join. I don't know. Maybe I already had done that. I'm not sure. Um, now you're going to chain one. And for round number 16, you're going to decrease over the first two stitches. So make a single crochet decrease. And you're going to move your stitch marker. And now you're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three and four and then you're going to make another single crochet decrease and I'm getting a little bit of a yarn mess there we go so a single crochet decrease so decrease single crochet four decrease single crochet four one two three and four now you're going to go ahead and start your slip stitch. However, we are going to now switch to black yarn. So we're going to grab the black yarn and try to untangle it. There we go. And you're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now you're going to chain one, and like we usually do, for the black, you're just going to slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'm going to go ahead and make a slip stitch into the very first stitch. Move my stitch marker. Remember to make loose slip stitches so that you'll be able to work into them on the next round. So kind of relaxed and loose slip stitches. So I'm going to, I forgot to mention, we are, um, you should have 10 stitches for this round and you should have had 10 stitches for this last round too. So we started at 16 for the black, then we went down to um, 14, then 12, and then 10. And now we're at 10 again because we're not going to do any decreases. So slip stitch in each stitch around and I will meet you back. All right, so I just finished my last slip stitch and now what you're going to do is you're going to make, um, you're going to start a slip stitch into the first stitch. So I'm going to push my hook into there. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my white yarn. So here is my white yarn. And for round number 18, we're obviously going to finish this slip stitch first. Let's finish the slip stitch, chain one. And for round number 18, I'm going to move that fuzz off. There we go. For round number 18, 
we are going to um, single crochet decrease in the first two stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right away in these very first two stitches. Remember, remembering to go into the back loop only. So single crochet decrease, move your stitch marker. Ooh, there, we, there we go. It was getting a little stuck. There we go. So now you're going to then single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So single crochet decrease, single crochet three, single crochet decrease. Then you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Like that. One, two, and one, two, and three. So one, one, two, and three. There you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and start the slip stitch to join. But instead, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the black yarn again. So I'm going to, this is the last time that you'll need that white yarn, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the white yarn so that it's just a little simpler. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the black yarn and you're going to finish that slip stitch. You're going to chain one and what we're going to do is we're going to officially, we're going to officially close this off. So we're going to single crochet into each, so into the front panel and the back panel across. So before we do that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've done all your last tails. We made a couple more tails recently. And then you're also gonna to wanna to stuff it as much as you want before that. So I'm gonna add a little stuffing and weave in my tails and I will meet you back. One thing I wanted to mention is how I like to weave in my tails is all I do is I just make a knot because they're, it's on the inside anyway, so no one will ever really see it unless somehow it were to fall apart. Um, so I just like to make two knots and then stuff the little tails inside. Okay, so I just added a little stuffing and made, uh, finished weaving in these tails. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to single crochet five across. So you should have had eight stitches at the end of round 18 with the white yarn. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that very first stitch and then we're going to go to the other side, the other side. So I'm going to go right into that, kind of that corner stitch just there. And we're going to make a single crochet. And you're going to do that across. Now you should technically get four stitches. So I like to kind of make one extra stitch somewhere. So you can kind of choose where you want to do that. I kind of make one extra right there. And then, then I tend to have one more. So I'm going to go there, and you're just going to want to make sure you're getting all of those loops. So you can see I have four stitches, and I'm just going to go ahead and do one more stitch into that last, there we go, like that. So you can kind of find one place to put an extra stitch. So we have five stitches now, and what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue to the tail. So we're going to grab the... Um, cut the black yarn and then we're going to go ahead and grab the red yarn or orange or whatever color you're using and what I'm going to actually do is before I have finished this single crochet this very last single crochet I'm just going to start to finish it so like that and then I'm just going to grab this yarn and then pull through there we go so now for uh, round or row one of the tail you're going to chain one turn your work and you're going to single crochet in each of the five stitches across. So one, two, three, four, and let me move my black tail, there we go, and five. So like that is how it should be looking. So five stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work again and you're going to single crochet increase into the very first stitch. Then you're going to single crochet into the next three stitches and then you're going to single crochet increase into that last stitch. So one, 
two single crochets into that last stitch. There we go. Now you should have seven stitches. You're going to chain one, turn your work, and now for round number three, or row number three, you're going to uh, do a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. Then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to single crochet decrease over the last two stitches, just to kind of give it a little bit more roundness. And that is what your tail will look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and tie off. And now you can see we kind of have a very um, simple, bare bones looking uh, fish. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, add a couple of details. So add some fins. And then we're also going to do a little edging around this tail. So you can see here we just add a little edging around it so for that what we're going to do is we're going to grab our 3.5 millimeter hook so this little red hook and then we're also going to grab our worsted weight yarn so here is the worsted weight yarn we haven't used it this whole time so we're now going to use it and what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook right where you can either insert here on this side or on this side, doesn't matter. But I'm going to insert my hook into the very first like stitch of the um, orange or red, whatever. The first non-black stitch. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through, chain one. And what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet into the first three stitches. So kind of just working up the side as, be as best as you can. So one, two, and three. Then what you're going to do is cross the top, which for me was um, a total of seven stitches. So I kind of did it a little bit on the side too. So you're going to single crochet increase in each of those stitches. So one, two, and my ball of yarn is, there we go, two, three, or five, I think this is five. And then, let's see, so this is one, two, three, four, five, and then, all right, so I was just filming and then I realized that my mic wasn't working. So um, what I did is I just did those three single crochets working up, then single crochet seven across the top, and then three single crochets down the side. And then I just did a little slip stitch into the black just to make it nice and even looking. And then I just wanted you guys to tie in the tails. And there is a tail right there that I tied in. I just went through the body, there we go. Um, so tie in your tails. Now when I tie in my worst away tail, I like to go around the back. So let me show you with this. So I'm gonna just grab a little bit of yarn. So you're going to put on your darning needle obviously. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go kind of between here. And this is on the back side, so the front side will be the same. But then on the back side, I like to just go kind of into these stitches. It just helps it to look more even. So you go around like that, and you kind of have to wiggle through, but it helps a lot. So you can see I got, went between the two stitches. So you can't see on this side, but you can... See, so then you just pull it through. And then I find that it makes it look a whole lot more even and nice looking. Um, so it looks more like this in the end. And you'll see it, yes, a little bit. And if you want to go, you go back, you can even go back and do it one more time. But I just like the look of that better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the fins. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and grab your seven millimeter hook and your orange yarn. And we are going to start by doing the front top fin. So to do that, you're going to attach your hook to the second orange strip. So this is the first, and then here's the second. And what you're going to do is you're going to find kind of between the eyes. So you can see there's the two eyes kind of at the top, right about there. You're going to insert your hook just around that stitch. And you're going to grab your yarn, yarn pull through, 
and chain one. And now what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches. So we just started working into the very first of those orange stitches. So half double crochet into that same stitch where I just did the chain one and attach the yarn through. Then you're going to half double crochet into the next kind of area and then into the last like area. Now it's not the easiest to show this on camera, but I think you guys can kind of get the idea. So it's up the center like that. And then you're going to just slip stitch into the very, just I like to, and if you work end up working to close to the same stitches, that's fine, but just slip stitch there. And you can see that is what it will look like. So now you're going to go ahead and cut your yarn. And what we're going to do is we're now going to do the little bit of edging for this fin. So you're going to grab your 3.5 millimeter hook and your worsted weight yarn. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook at the base. And what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet increase in each of the stitches. So you're just going to do a single crochet increase into each of those kind of stitches. And I found myself having about a total of 10 stitches. So going into about five stitches and doing a single crochet increase in each of those stitches. So I end up with about a total of 10 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'll meet you back. All right, so once you finish this, so the five uh, single crochet increases, I like to just do one slip stitch into there and just so it looks nice and clean. And there you go, that is uh, fin number one. We are going to go ahead and tie off. And I like to do the same thing that I did for the tail, which is, let me just tie off, there we go. Um, I like to do the same thing that I did for the tail, which is come back and like cover that up a little bit with this tail. So you might wanna leave yourself a little bit longer of a tail than I just left myself. Um, but you'll just come with your, this uh, darning needle and then just go through those stitches. So like that and it's a little hard to do this on camera, but you can kind of see where I'm getting the point that I'm trying to make. So you just then pull that through and it just makes it look a little bit more neat and clean. So I like to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish tying these tails then I'll meet you back and we'll continue on to the next fin. All right, so I just finished this tying in these tails. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the back top fin. So, so you're gonna do it right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach your hook again to the top about center and you're going to grab your orange yarn pull through chain um, you're going to chain two and then what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet into those two stitches so into that same stitch that we just did the chains out of and you're also going to go into the next stitch and then you're going to go ahead and slip stitch um, to just kind of the base right there. So there we go. And so that is how it should look. Now you're going to cut your yarn and you're going to do the exact same thing for edging that you did on this one. So you're going to grab your 3.5 millimeter hook and you're going to do increases. And I found I did about um, the same number. So about five increases here. So five single crochet increases and then just tie off and you can tie it in exactly like I did, showed you how to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this one and then I will meet you back. All right, so now at this point we have two more fins left, that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one on the bottom. It's called, I call it the back bottom fin. So you're gonna grab your seven millimeter hook again and your orange yarn, your good old trusty orange yarn. And you're just gonna wanna do it at the center kind of bottom so you can, kind of line it up as best as you can. Um, and I'm just gonna insert my hook there, right where the orange begins. And you're just going to attach your hook, chain one, and you're gonna half double crochet into that stitch and then into the next stitch. And then you're gonna slip stitch into that kind of last spot right there, like so. And you can see that is how it will look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn. And you're gonna do the exact same thing for the edging that you did on these other two 
um, fins. So you're just going to grab your black yarn and you're going to do about five um, single crochet increases. Now if you have a, one or two more or one or two less increases, that is totally fine. The goal is just to kind of make it look even and as nice as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll meet you back and we will do the two side fins. Okay, so I personally, instead of doing five single crochet increases, I did four single crochet increases and then I just slip stitched to the base. So now we're going to do the side fins. And what you're going to do is you're going to count about three stitches down from the eye on the second. So you can see that it's over one, two, and into the third stitch down. Or you can see it... You can see what I'm saying if you look here probably a little bit better. So one over and then one, two, and then into the third stitch down. I'm actually going to go from above, so like this. So you're going to want to have your hook facing the bottom, toward the bottom of the fish. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab your yarn. And then you're going to chain two, so one and two. And what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet three into that same stitch where we just did our chains. So one double crochet, two double crochet, and then three double crochet. And now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to um, half double crochet decrease over all three stitches. So you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through all um, five loops on your hook. So like that. And now you're going to go ahead and cut your yarn. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you're going to find the other side and you're going to go about one, two, and three. Now you can kind of eye it and see if you like it like this, or I think, or like this better. If that looks, that probably looks a little bit more even. So I probably will do that. So for me, this was, yep, third stitch down. And you're going to do the exact same thing. So you're going to pull through, chain two, double crochet three. And you're working right next to where that black line is. So you're working to the first row of orange. One two and three. It's getting a little harder to um, do this on camera so I apologize if I'm getting a little bit more tough to see. So there you go. Do your half double crochet decrease. You should have five loops on your hook. Pull through all five loops on your hook. Cut your yarn. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your worsted weight yarn and you're going to single crochet 11. So I personally am going to go insert my hook right into that kind of where the base is. Grab my uh, yarn, pull through, chain one. Then I'm going to just single crochet. So instead of doing increases, we're just going to single crochet. And if you get one or two more stitches than 11, that is totally fine. I just found that I had about 11 stitches. One, two, three. Let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can kind of try to do it as evenly as you possibly can. It's a little tough here on camera. Ten and eleven. And then you're just going to slip stitch and cut your yarn. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a longer tail just so I can um, weave it in a little bit easier. Now personally for this one, I didn't find it as necessary to, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to push that up a little bit so it looks like this. So you can either go like that or like this. And I like to push it down like that. So then I don't find it as necessary to go into those stitches. So you don't have to like go into those single crochet stitches. So now I'm going to do that exact same thing on the other side. Do about 11 single crochets and then slip stitch and I, you will be officially done with your fish. I'll meet you back. Alright, so you can see this is what our finished little fish looks like. You can see, um, I think it turned out super, super cute and yeah. 
Thank you so much for making this adorable little clownfish along with me. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, for weekly crochet tutorials. Also, don't forget to comment down below and tell me what color you made this clownfish in. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.